welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. So, I did a little bit of stuff off camera. All I did was kind of sort the new Pokemon we recruited, gave them all nicknames, used up the gummies, and then I went to the dojo and did a few training things on me and Basil. We're now both level 40, so that works. And I'm just going to make a camp real quick before we leave. We actually have enough for any of them that we want. Uh, I feel like none of these are relating to any of the things we're gonna see in the place we're about to go, the underground area, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll go with uh, decrepit lab, sure. Now I'm going to deposit my money. I already sorted my items and everything off camera. Um, so, just gonna deposit this stuff. Probably just talk to everyone. And then we'll head out. So, let's see what Snubble has to say. Several rescue teams have already left for the magma cavern. Emma, you guys should take care too. Oi, you lot shouldn't go. The magma cavern is alive with flames. You'll be burned up. We can't do that. We are a rescue team too. We can't stand by idly. What's it like, this magma cavern? It was teeming with tough Pokemon, that's for sure. I'm strong against fire, but that place is special. The magma cavern, above all, there were many fire type Pokemon. Fire type Pokemon, I think they would burn me up in no time. But no, I mustn't make excuses for myself. Now is the time for each and every one of us to make a stand. It's a very brave um, bell sprout. I already talked to Kangaskhan and the green Kecleon, unfortunately, so you won't get to see what they have to say, but Basil's words shook me up with inspiration, especially the part about taking pride. That made me, it left me choked up. <laughs> it isn't just you, my brother. I am likewise inspired beyond words, but brother, Sniffle, my brother. I will do my best to obtain even better technical machines. All with the pride of a merchant. All right. <laughs> Let's see what he has, just out of curiosity. Uh, yeah, I don't really... Well, energy ball, though. Ooh. And that can go four tiles away. Oh, that might even be better than freaking Razor Leaf. Dude. Uh, I kind of want to get it. <laughs> I also really want to get Shadow Claw because I'm pretty sure I can put that on Licorice, the Absol, who I'm thinking of bringing with us. Even though he doesn't have like a type advantage, he's, I think he's just our strongest teammate we have. I'll have to go see who I want to bring with us. If we can even bring a teammate. I don't know if we can. I just don't even want to deal with um, changing moves right now, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> Alright, so... Guess we are ready to go now. Okay, all set. We should both get a good night's sleep. And we'll set out tomorrow. Another dream! I'm in that dream again. Gardevoir. It's tomorrow, isn't it? That you take to that underground dungeon? Yes. They make it sound like one terrible place. I wonder if we'll be okay. You will be fine. I'm certain that you will succeed, Emma. You have my support. Please, go with strength. I will, thank you. I'm feeling a little braver now. I will go for it. By the way, Gardevoir, do you know what it's like underground? Or what Groudon is like? No, I'm sorry to say, I can't envision it. Okay. I thought maybe you knew something the way you said it. No, I only wanted to give you encouragement. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine too. I'm happy that you tried to cheer me up, thank you. There is one thing that I can foresee. Huh? Your role is coming to an end little by little. My role is ending? You became a Pokemon in order to fulfill a certain role, and that role brought you here. Now that role is finally drawing to its conclusion. Gardevoir, tell me, what is my role? Why did I become a Pokemon? When the time comes, I think I can tell you when this adventure is finished. Au revoir. My French sucks, sorry. <laughs> I probably said that wrong. The next morning. 
Alrighty then, I guess we're heading out on this rescue mission. Good morning, Emma. Did you sleep well? Okay, this is it. Let's do our best and save Alexam's team. Gardevoir said, she will tell me everything when this adventure is over. Is going underground the adventure she meant? Will she tell me if we rescue Alakazam's team? Hello? Are you asleep still? Let's get going. Okay, so let's go. I already sorted everything, so we're fine. Magma Cavern. All right. So, let me just see who we want to bring with us. I was thinking Licorice, just because... Pretty sure he's the strongest team member we have, but at the same time, it would be nice to bring, do we even have any water types though? Let me see. We actually have no water types on the team as far as I can see, so I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll bring licorice, okay. We are heading out. This must be it. Groudon is in this underground cavern. Woo, look at the streams of lava. It's going to be scorching hot in the dungeon, I think. Other rescue teams should already be here. Let's get going and try our best. Okay. Poor Basil is gonna struggle in this place. All right, so to start, I have some items to use. Um, first of all, I'm gonna eat this tiny apple to expand my stomach. <laughs> and then I'm gonna eat this citrus berry um, to increase my max HP. And then, do I have something else to use? Oh, I'm gonna take these zincs, both of them. Then I'm gonna use the PP of drink on Razor Leaf as usual. And the reason I didn't get Energy Ball was I was thinking I've put so much into Razor Leaf, like I've used so many PP ups and everything and it's powered up quite a bit. So I'm like, do I really wanna get rid of it after putting all those items and things into it? I might later on, I don't know. But <laughs> for right now I was like, meh. And then, speaking of that, let's use a power drink on... Actually, maybe we could use it on Night Slash. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna eat this eyedrop seed. Okay, and now that I've <laughs> used like 50 billion items, we're finally ready to go. Razor Leaf is just so good, like, seriously. Hey, it's finally an episode where I'm not skipping through the dungeon. <laughs> um, we have an innocent sleeping Sandrew. Attack it. <laughs> Alright. Wonder how many floors this will be. I'm thinking around... Hmm, maybe... 15-ish before we get to the save point. 12 to 15, that's my guess. It would be very useful if you had a water starter right now. <laughs> but um, honestly, it doesn't matter because depending on, oh, there's a fainted star you, depending on like what um, point in the game you're at, you're always going to be at some sort of disadvantage, so it doesn't really matter that I have Bulbasaur right now. By the way, I'm kind of mad from the last episode where we had to choose between like um, a Nidorina and a Golbat. I ended up getting rid of the Golbat thinking I had a Zubat, but I didn't, and I did have a Nidoran, so <laughs> yeah, that was a waste, but it's fine. I'm sure we'll be able to recruit a... Oh, this this star you would actually be super useful um, because it's a water type, obviously. So yeah, let's see. Yes, you can join. It won't be able to join our team because we don't have the camp for it, but yeah, it has strike back. 
All right. At least you can help us out for a while, dude. We're already on the fourth floor? Huh. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Ooh. By the way, lots of Nether Queens in here. I did get rid of the Netherina because I really liked Time, the Netheram you had. And she was higher level than the Netherina anyway, so I was like, whatever. Wait, what was that? Grimy food? <laughs> What's the point of that? Whoa! What the? That was crazy. Um, at least we have tiny reviver seeds. Jeez. Thank you to that new star you that's on our well, temporarily on our team. What's up, dude? <laughs> you you developed a kinship when you were beating the crap out of me. Sure you can join us. I know we have a Geo dude, but that's okay. Um, alright, let's go fight these sleeping giants. Nido King and Nido Queen, nice. I would love it if they would join our team. Though then I'd have to get rid of time and get around again. That I just mentioned not wanting to get rid of. Um, okay, so we're on the fifth floor. And... Nice! I love this star you. It's very helpful. <laughs> Licorice level 34, cool. He's starting to catch up to us. Not quite, but. <laughs> I kind of feel like he is our other main team member. Like if I had to choose one other team member that was like a main, it would be him. Another Graveler wants to join us, sure. For now, anyways. So how are you guys doing today? Oops, my skitty is getting hungry. <laughs> um, I'm doing pretty good. My schedule is a little weird this week, but I figured I would use today to record like the next two weeks worth of Pokemon videos because um, recently I've been recording like a ton of Sims videos just because I've been really into, oh god, <laughs> as I die. Uh, let me revive myself. Probably gonna have to get more of those uh, reviver seeds out of the storage thing later. Like when we hit the save point or whatever. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I've been recording a lot of my um, Sims series. I'm like probably a month ahead on those now. Um, I like to be at least a week ahead on all my series just in case something comes up and I can't record then hopefully I won't miss um, a series for a week but yeah. Sure you can use the arm berry on me thanks dude. I should probably eat an apple while they beat up that Pokemon. Oh. What was all that? Interesting. What was that? Huh. I don't even know. So, I yesterday while I was doing some Sims related stuff for like my 100 baby challenge, um, I decided to work on training. What is going? What is that? Um, since when does does the menu look like this? Oh, I must have hit Y and changed the menu layout. 
I kind of like this better because then you can see everything. Well, anyways, I'm going to keep it like that. Might as well eat an apple. Um, so yeah, I was working on training my cub foo up for the next episode of Isle of Armor, which I'm probably going to record after this, um, after this episode. But, um, yeah, I trained him up to level 70 now. Bought a bunch of new, not a bunch of new, oh god, a monster house! <laughs> ah! Alright, I didn't mean to go that way. I should have used the diagonal button, whatever. At least I can hit all three of these dudes at the same time. Well, I guess I only need to hit two then. Oh my gosh, holy crap. Basil, you need to come in here and let all those dudes fight. Um, We'll use that to hit two dudes at once. Nice. Oh, we missed the R bar. Oh, but we still knocked it out. Not too bad. Uh, oh my gosh, that is crazy. Sure, use the, use it on me because I'm, <laughs> I'm closer to fainting. Uh, oh, we can use, we can use it on both. Nice. Oh no, oh my gosh. Last time we did not well, we survived the monster house, but like one of our teammates did not. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll use another orange berry. Crap. We're gonna have to like load up on items. Finally, the rest of the team is coming in. Did we win? Oh, we got a heal seed. Get a heal seed to heal all bad statuses. All right. Apparently that's the first time we've ever seen one. Yay, we beat the um, monster house. What is this? Fallen ill. Don't use it. He'll, he'll be not confused in like two seconds. Are you officially part of the monster house? I'm not quite sure, dude. I don't think he is. He just kind of wandered into it. <laughs> but the music will continue for the rest of this uh, floor, so. Oops, I'm gonna fall asleep. Or not. The trap didn't work for some reason. Ooh, sure you can join us, Magmar. I th Do we have a Magby? We might, it's whatever. Rare quality, leave half. I forget what that does, but whatever. <laughs> he really just stepped right onto that trap and fell asleep. It's like, I'm taking a nap before we go. Oh no. I'm out of PP for something. Let me see. Oh, wake up slap. Makes sense. Probably been using that a lot with all the gravelers in here. Yeah, so I trained up my Cub Vu anyways in Pokemon Shield. Um, he's at level 70. Figured that would be pretty decent level to be at to take on the Tower of Water. Waters? Is it water or waters? I feel like it said waters. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I decided to do the water one. Um, just because it'll be slightly more of a challenge, I feel like, than the dark one. Also, I like the way the water form Urshiru looks better, so. Urshiru? Urshifu? I think it's Urshifu. <laughs> Ooh, this is like a maze of freaking lava. Alright, we're on the double jit double digits now. I almost said double digits. Um <laughs> let me eat an apple though. 
Even though I could just switch to basil or licorice. Let me play as a licorice for a minute because I haven't really ever played as him, I don't think. And then I need, I want to register the Geo Pebbles. Yes. I literally forgot I was playing as, um, <laughs> as a licorice. Oh my god! The flame body burned the item. Oh, that was what was happening last time when we were fighting the slugma and um, the items were burning up. I guess that's what flame body does in this game. For a while. By the way, I did notice that... You know how um, it says like your leader has to beat the Pokemon in order to recruit them? Well, I, I was thinking that meant it had to be, like, the Skitty, but it's whichever one you're playing as, because I did recruit a few Pokemon playing as Basil. Oh, and I taught Basil uh, Grass Knot, by the way. I think I forgot to mention that. I got rid of Synthesis, even though Synthesis is actually, like, really good to have. I just figured we have items that do, like, the same thing as Synthesis, so... We'll just use those. We may be out of Tiny Room Viruses right now. Let me just check what we have going on. So we have... We have two left. Wow, okay. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find more as we walk around this dungeon. Do I have any moves that can hit multiple tiles away? I don't... I don't know. Let me just do that. Oh, quick attack does. Yay! He leveled up. I did! 41. Cool. Also, I almost learned double edge when I got to level 40 I think but I decided not to and I know some people might think that's dumb because it is a really like strong move I just really hate moves that have recoil damage so I just decided not to get it <laughs> I might change that later on in post game who knows but oh I got burned Sure, it's probably the first time ever using a raspberry in this. Oh, by the way, you know how, like, since the beginning of the series I've been ranting about how when I press B, sometimes the um, toolbox does not open? Well, I think it's- oh, no, it's still not working. Okay, never mind then. I was gonna say- <laughs> I was gonna say I think it's because um, the little text box in the bottom right corner it seemed like it was only um, working when that was cleared. Apparently not though, because it was just cleared and it was still not letting me open the freaking toolbox with B. <laughs> Don't know what that's about, but it's fine. Fake tears sounds pretty cool. Um, okay. Lots of Maw Isles in here. Alright, I'm assuming we're getting close to the save point now. Maybe not, but I wouldn't guess more than like 15 floors until we hit one. Um, so... Huh. Can't believe I missed this airbox somehow. Whatever. Power band. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look at these key items and see if I want to switch anything around. Ooh, 
small while it wants to join us. Yay! Yes, you can. We do have the camp for it, which is awesome. Oh no, there's too many. Um, we'll get rid of one of the magmars. So, level 30 and level 30. Or one of the graveler, actually. So, what do you guys have? So this one has rockhead. This one has sturdy. And neither of them have rare qualities. I think I'll keep the one with sturdy. Sorry, Graveler. Ooh, Licorice is actually getting pretty hungry now. But I just feel like there can't be more than 15 floors, so I'm gonna wait a minute before wasting an apple. Ooh, Macargo wants to join us. Um, But we have that really good um, Slugma. Um, I'll let it join us just like for now, and I'll get rid of one of the Magmar. Um, maybe. Let me see. This has no rare quality, so maybe not. What do these dudes have? So we have leave half and none. Uh, or is Magmar better to have? I don't know. Now we'll get rid of this Magmar that doesn't have rare quality. Oh, and I just remembered we do have a Mag B. Um, so, I don't know if I should keep these Magmar. It's always hard for me to get rid of um, the team members. Oops. Apparently, I suck at throwing gravel rocks or whatever I was, because I just missed. <laughs> Let me switch to Basil now. Look at how Emma and Licorice are starving, but their stomachs are now frozen. Love that razor leaf. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, that was the first time using Grass Knot. Using it on Mawile is um, questionable. It doesn't look very heavy, but it's okay. Whoa, there is some stuff going on over there that we can't see. Razor Leaf is great because you can attack four sleeping innocent Pokemon from far away and they can't even get you. <laughs> like how it used Amnesia after, like, like it was so confused about what was happening. <laughs> Actually hitting the 16th floor was not expecting there to be that many floors huh there can't be there can't be like 20 right maybe this is the last one then we're just throwing rocks and leaves everywhere vats of acid apparently <laughs> and seed bombs Ooh, he's a level 41. Flickerish level 35. I have a bunch in storage, so like, I'm assuming we'll hit the save point pretty soon. I'll put back a whole bunch of random stuff that I don't think we'll use, and I'll just get a bunch of tiny reviver seeds. And probably like Oran berries. And maybe, I think I already have an orb that I think is going to be useful, so we'll see how that goes, but. Whoa! Oh my god! We actually have to revive this Mala. I'm gonna do it, even though we only have, I think, one left. Because, only because, I think we're very close to the end of this portion of the dungeon. The licorice is out of PP on one of its moves. Hmm. Oops, I thought this was <laughs> I thought this was a wild mawile. Where are we going next? Gotta make up your mind. Don't tell me what to do. 
You're not even officially on the team yet. No, let me fight that thing that's sleeping. <laughs> We need all of the, the freaking experience points we can get before this Groudon fight. Wait, we have some plain seeds. We can swap for this. Or some grimy food. Let's get rid of that. Eighteen. Jeez, maybe there are 20 floors. I wasn't thinking there would be, but it kind of seems that way now. Rhydon wants to join us. That's so awesome. Yes, you can join. Um, and we're gonna have to kick someone off. <laughs> Alright, uh, just because I know we already have... Hmm. I know we already have Geodude. So I'm probably gonna be getting rid of this Graveler anyways. But at the same time, we already have Slugma. So I'll probably be getting rid of this dude too. And I feel like Graveler might be more useful in here just because of magnitude. That doesn't hurt everyone, does it? Oh, you know what? I think it does, and that's why it's not automatically checked off. All right, fine. We'll get rid of the Graveler. Bye. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I get confused about the- oh no, it has flame body! <laughs> I always forget about that. Sometimes I get confused though about the stones, because I feel like you don't actually have to be facing it or actually be like right directly in front of it, you know what I'm saying? And it still works, but then sometimes it doesn't, so I don't, I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to someday actually Google how those work to make sure I'm not just using them wrong. 19, okay, so there are gonna be 20 floors, holy crap. They wouldn't stop at a weird number like 19, would they? That'd be gross. Ooh, I gotta use a uh, max elixir on licorice soon. Well, all right, if there's gonna be more than 20 floors, then I'll use one. I feel like it would be a waste right now though. Um, just because, Oh, this Mawile's wasting another one of our tiny rivers. <laughs> I think that's our last one unless we picked up another one. Let me take this thing out since you guys apparently cannot. Alright. Um, we have some plain seeds that I want to swap for these. A million of them. <laughs> yeah, we have no more tiny revivers. Hopefully this is one. Oh, it's an eye drop seed. Might as well eat that, whatever. Actually, we're at the stairs already, so... I'll just swap it. Aw, coughing wants to join us. We don't have one, but we don't have the camp for it, so I'm just gonna say no. Sorry, dude. That training switch would have been helpful earlier, but whatever. Alright, this has to be the last floor. <laughs> right? Like, it has to be. How did I miss it while I was sleeping? Like, what? Now I'm getting ready. Oh my gosh. Jeez. What the heck? That was crazy. Oh, a golem. I probably should have healed before even doing that, but luckily we were fine. Oh my god. Please don't use magnitude. Oh my gosh, please. Well, I'm gonna go on because I think that has to be the last floor. Oh my god, it's not? Are you serious? Alright. 
If this is not the last floor, then I'm finally gonna heal though. Oh, but I need to eat an apple though. It's ridiculous at this point. Um, what I'll do is I'll switch back to myself. Oh, not licorice, she has one left. <laughs> I'll switch back to myself and eat one. And I'll probably just use a Max Ether on Basil for Razor Leaf. Okay. I just ran out of PP too, and this coughing trying to join us. Oh no! I, I hate saying no to them, but I can't, bro. Sand Tomb. The Pokemon is trapped by swirling sand is unable to move from its spot. It also keeps taking damage. Okay, that's it. I am stuck. <laughs> How long is this gonna last? Alright, it's done. Okay, please tell me this was the last floor. Had to be. It's not, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so like surprised. I don't know why I thought it'd be way less floor than this. It's not like a problem, it's just surprising is all. I feel like the, the longest dungeon we were in before was what? Maybe 20? Ooh, thanks for that squeeze out, dude. Love that. Oh, there's a giant onyx over there. <laughs> Just swapping this heal seed with a plain seed. Looks like another giant foe over there. Must be another onyx. Um, can I hit that with a rock from here? No, it didn't work. I don't know. Maybe you can't be like in the corridors, but I feel like I've seen my Pokemon and my teammates like throw rocks from the most random places <laughs> and still hit the foes, so I'm not really sure. Aw, this Sand Slash wants to join us. Uh, sure. Wait, I didn't see if I had the camp for it. Uh, let me see. We do have the camp for it, which is good. Uh,. I'm getting rid of my cargo because I do have a slugma. Sorry, buddy, you were helpful, but bye. <laughs> Finally, oh my god. That was taking forever. So. Let me see what we have. So, boost attack. I kind of want to get rid of this and use a power band instead. Got a lot of mock ribbons in there. Okay, so I just sorted all my items and I have like four max ethers, four max elixirs, a couple heal seeds, I got a pure seed because um, we could probably just use that on our way up um, probably like when we first enter this part of the dungeon. Then I got a violent seed which I'm going to use um, for the actual Groudon fight. We have like 12 tiny reviver seeds with us just because I don't know how tough this is going to be. Got a couple apples, wait why is this, oh yeah you can't deposit these right? Um, I have the all dodge orb because I was thinking we could use that. Hold on. Let me see if I have a better orb actually. I think that's the one thing I forgot to check was orbs. So we could do, what is this though? Revives all your fainted teammates. Eh. 
glow orb. No. We could do um, fossil orb, maybe? Or the faux hold. Maybe faux seal would be better. Let me take one of these. All right, cool. So I think we are ready to go. I just decided to warp over here. Um, it's whatever. I need to get all the items every time. Let's just go on. Those onyx are pretty freaking tough. It takes quite a bit to knock them out, huh? Uh-oh. Looks like Magmar was able to take care of itself. Absol, I mean, Licorice, you suck at throwing like me. Ah! <laughs> As I prove my own point. Can I hit it with a rock? Let's see. No. <laughs> and I guess you do have to be facing it. I don't even know how the rocks work. Oh, that was it, okay. Let's see, I wonder where we are. I'm certain we've come quite far already. Wah, quake! Ooh, it's over. Hey, Emma, over there. Hey, are you okay? Urgh. What happened to you? We challenged Groudon and got wiped out. G Groudon? Urgh. We... It crushed us. That's right. What happened to Alakazam? Where is Alakazam? Alakazam is... Still ba battling Groudon. I wish I could go help. My body just won't cooperate. It's been days. How long have you guys been battling? <laughs> Emma, we've got to hurry. Be careful. We'll be there as soon as we've recovered. It's Alakazam. Are you okay? Hmm. So it's you. Stay back. This opponent is no laughing matter. <laughs> Here it comes. Coming? Where? Alakazam is gone! Maybe. Was he defeated? Oh, it's our turn next. But I'm not going down without a fight. Emma, let's do our best. Whoa. This dude is mad. So, ooh, the earth moves violently. Oh no, does that mean we're actually gonna get hurt by it or something? Whoa, what, what, what the, oh my God. Magma, it's a cataclysm. Magma is gushing out from the dungeon floor. The ground shakes and Pokemon will be moved. All Pokemon except for fire type, Pokemon that touch the magma will get a burn. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, let me start by using that orb. So I was going to use the faux seal orb. Cool. Razor Leaf does not do too bad. Ah, oh my god! Magma is bubbling up from the ground. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use... The all dodge orb. We can use multiple orbs, right? I think we can. Alright, we're 
we're doing pretty good. And then finally I'm gonna eat this. Where is it? Violent seed. Alright. Somebody just had a hardcore fail. Um, what is that? Is that supposed to be like magma or something? I don't know if that is. Haha, it can't hit us because of the orb. Are we too overpowered right now? Oh my god, oh my god. Did I just get burnt? Magma is spreading. Oh my gosh, I'm like right on the edge of being burnt. <laughs> Basil is smart because look at where she is. She went far away and she's just like attacking as far away as possible. Which is where she should be. I don't know, why did I just go right next to the magma? I should've used the, um, the freaking diagonal thing. I have not attacked this thing once so far. Kinda of funny. I know, mobile. We have a million of these seeds, so I'll, I'll heal you, dude. Is it still sealed, by the way? I don't know. Wait, what? I <laughs> Guys, I didn't hit it once. Literally. Maybe using the two orbs was a little overpowered. <laughs> oh my god. Look, it's Alakazam, Charizard, and Tyranitar too. Urgh. Did you do it, Groudon? Are you okay? Yes, fine. We will be fine. But we must get out immediately. How's your ego, though? Probably hurts that these two little baby Pokemon... <laughs> Well, we had a whole team, but it's okay. What about Groudon? Will it be okay? Your concern is unneeded. It will awaken soon enough. It had lost control only because it was enraged from having its sleep disturbed. It should calm down. Wah! Another quake! Oh, quickly! Having calmed Groudon, Emma's team left the dungeon and return to Pokemon Square together with Alakazam's team. Okay, that was not too bad at all. Aw, thank you, Star. You definitely helped us out there. Magmar wants to join. Ah, but I know I have a Magby. I'm letting it join for now and then I'll, I'll go through everyone later. Mawile, yes, you are definitely joining us. Actually, do I have Mawile? I don't think I do. Whatever. Rhydon is joining us. Sandslash is gonna join us. That was pretty successful, I would say. And in the square. Is Emma's team almost here? Look, here they come. It's true, darlings. Let's go. <laughs> great work. Great work, Emma. You really took down that Groudon? Well, I personally did not even attack it once, but my team did. <laughs> darlings, it's fantastic. You have won me over. Whoa, w wait a second. How does everyone know about what happened underground? Pelipper spread the word with an extra edition of the Pokemon news. How did Pelipper know? <laughs> you bunch became stronger than I expected. You can be proud of it. You lot did great. Why don't we team up sometime? <laughs> You've earned everyone's respect now. Your team, Pinkmon, is a first class rescue team. Take pride in that. Hey, little Emma. Sniff, sniffle. <laughs> Emma! I can't believe it! Everything we've experienced, it was all worthwhile! We're freaking famous! <laughs> would you look at that? I didn't think someone that could take down Groudon would be such a crybaby. <laughs> Cute. Uh oh. Huh? What was that? I thought I heard something just for a moment. Did I just imagine it? Oh no. No, I heard it too. Me too. Even now I hear it. Someone talking? Not sure. The, this voice. I've heard it before. 
This voice, I'm sure. That's it, it's Zatu. Zatu? Ah, that's it, telepathy. Zatu's calling out to us using telepathy. To all Pokemon, calling all Pokemon. Terrible it is. From the sky falls a star. From the sky comes a star. It's huge, a giant of a star. The star, it falls. It falls straight to us. That was some nice looking graphics. <laughs> Disasters in nature, there were many. The balance of the world, it has been upset. All because of the star, the star that slowly comes closer. If it keeps coming, it will crash into this world. It shall be terrible. Something must be done. Zatu, tell us. Can the falling star be stopped? There is a way. To prevent collision, there is but one solution. You must ask Rayquaza. Rayquaza? What might that be? A Pokemon living far above us in the sky, legendary it is. Rayquaza must be asked to destroy the, the star from the sky. However, Rayquaza is known by few and seen by none. By the way, do you call it Rayquaza or Rayquaza? I've heard it both ways, but I feel like it should be Rayquaza, so that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> the sky it calls home is above even the tallest mountains of this world. The sky? How are we to go there? Alakazam and I amplify our teleport together and send Pokemon to the sky. Logic. However, the sky is a world above the clouds. What will become of the Pokemon sent to the sky? Even I can guess nothing. Then we'll do it. We'll go. I also. I thought there could be none but you, but are you sure? There's no telling what you would find in that world above the clouds. We expect danger. It's my wish that all Pokemon can live in peace. Basil, Emma, do you hear? This is Zatu. Discuss we will, Alakazam and I, about how our teleport can be amplified. Departure, it is tomorrow. Rest you should until then. Last word. Dangerous will be your adventure, but fail you must not surpass yourselves. No problem, we'll be fine. Basil's just always so chill about everything. <laughs> right, Emma? Let's get it done. Okay, so I'm gonna end the part here, obviously. Um, if you are excited to see Team Pinkbone in the frickin' sky, <laughs> um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!